With planting season underway, a strict crop rotation program has allowed a Jackson County farmer to consistently produce positive yields for more than 30 years. Corn has been a part of Tommy Young's farming operation near Tuckerman since 1981, along with winter wheat and soybeans. Young farms with his nephews, Blake and Jim. They adhere to a formula that has allowed them to consistently increase yield and reap bountiful harvests. We're a rotation-based operation. And so what we try to do is plant our corn based on rotation, and we try not to deviate from that. We don't let price dictate what we're planting because we try to stick with the rotation. However, there is an asterisk beside that. If the prices were to continue to, I guess you'd say, go down much, much lower, then we would have to look at something different. I think the one single biggest thing that's helped us is the varieties and the introduction of biotechnology in the crop. We like corn because corn, when we grow wheat behind it, we have better wheat, and when we grow soybeans, no till, behind that wheat, we have better soybeans. If we take corn out of that mix, then eventually those wheat crops and those soybean crops are going to be less. If I see that it's important for me to do farming a certain way and make my corn better, I'm not going to hide that or shield that. I want to share that with everyone out there and let them know that they can improve their corn crop by maybe doing it this way. And so that's my goal is to think that I have helped over the years by being involved with certain organizations and being an advocate for agriculture and corn production that maybe I've helped some farmers out there that weren't doing quite as good as they were and now they're doing better.